How y'all doing, man? It's No Love Coach coming to y'all. My video, you already see, see the title, Badges We Don't Need 2K21. Um, just bringing a little piece of my uh, my mind here with this. And uh, When we first were introduced with badges after 2K14, 2K15 with the My Player, uh, they brought us the badges, and now badges have evolved to being only able to get within my career, and now we can have badge points. So, think there needs to be more growth more alteration with this so i'm gonna go ahead and get into badges we don't need or badges that should be altered and changed so let's get it so let's go ahead and get into it with showtime and fast break finishing like i'm not understanding why these badges are separated they essentially say do the same thing gives additional boost the players take over successfully dunking on a fast break i mean what difference is that from showtime on fast breaks most likely you're doing a flashy dunk anyways so that makes no sense to separate it but only to make us use more badge points so in 2k21 i would like these badges to be put together or to take one away and allow one of the badges to do both things because honestly makes Bruh. no sense like i mean just read it i mean gives additional boost to take over meter their teammates when successfully completing alley or flashy dunk i mean mostly everything gives you a boost to your team for a takeover moving on we got giant slayer and a good old pro touch i mean here we go again with the double badges doing the same exact thing they just split it up uh, making us use more badge points once again Pro Touch gives an extra shot boost to have a slightly early, slightly late, or excellent shot timing on layups. And Giant Slayer boosts the shot percentage for a layup attempt when mismatched tall defenders or in reducing the possibility of getting blocked. Like, come on, man. Like, is y'all really just putting this right in our face knowing we do the same thing over and over and over and over with these badges, man? Bruh. Can you at least delete one of these or put it together? I mean, do I got to express it even more further than this? Moving on here, we have Consistent Finisher, which to me sounds like the previous two badges that I just spoke about. I actually should have grouped all three of these together but when I was going through looking at all the clips and uh, just putting everything together. It's like, read it. The penalties for missed layups are reduced. And line players make layups more consistent. I mean, that's pro touch. Like, I don't understand why they doing this to us. Like, do they feel like we can't read or do they feel like we just ain't paying attention? Or do they feel like we're just playing any game that they'll just give us? Like, please, put all three of these badges together so we can save badge points that will make our player even more fun to use. Make the game funner. Less badge points to have to use for less badges. That means more badges to be able to equip. That means more players we can make over and over to be able to feel like, hey, I can continue to play. I can continue to like the game. I won't waste my time making one build to do this and then making one build to do that. Like, it just makes no sense. 2K! Again and again and again. Like, going through the research, I'm literally just finding everything. Tid drop, cross key score will be the last two on the list. This will be a four part series. I'm doing finishing first, I'll be doing shooting next then play making then defense but i mean like Bruh. i just believe 2k feels like we do not read what these badges do cross key score boost the ability to make running hooks layups or close range pull-ups while driving across the paint really 2k Bruh. so you telling me this and to drop is not the same badge. Like, I don't even see these badges pop up together when they're equipped. Majority of these badges I don't see pop up together when they're equipped. You either see one pop up with another badge, maybe a playmaking and a slashing badge pops up, or maybe a playmaking and a shooting badge, or like, it just makes no sense. The proves ability to knock down floaters or runners. Like, come on, man, it's a layup. Like, it's the same thing over, over, and over. These are the same badges, 2K. Please understand that we understand that they're the same badges. They're not going to change. Now, going forward, field, maybe we'll figure out within the other shooting, playmaking, and defense. If there's some more badges that do the same thing like they do in finishing. Literally, 
if they cut these seven badges down to three badges, do you know how many, how many extra points we have that we could actually equip to something else? Instead of putting a bronze here, a silver here, like a silver badge shouldn't work better than a gold because they split two badges up and the one badge should actually be doing one thing. Like that makes no sense. Like I'm not understanding what they're thinking, but as we can see, we do understand because Bruh. the bash points in itself is essential to making your my player a regular player, a goat, or even a guy out here playing Macarel. So, I mean, going to the park, going to the pro am, if we were able to have these badges, just like literally extra points to be able to put on something else, our player would be way more effective than it really is now. And with the player being more effective, that means you have more enjoyment in playing the game versus having a player who is ineffective. You have a bash point here. You have to hop off the court, switch the bash point on here, take it off, adjust it inside of my career, as well as adjust it inside of park versus pro -M as well. Because there's just some badges that are unusable in both game modes. Um, I'll get into that next time. Uh, as I say, the cross court score to me, I mean, it's unusable in part with the actual meta and the play style. Like it's impossible to do that unless you are a big man. So that badge itself is ineffective for guards. Tear drop doesn't work. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care how many badge points you put on it. Even the people who do it and it does work, it becomes ineffective to put those points on there just for the ability to play with that only layup and take it away from pro touch, uh, consistent finisher, um, fast break. Like when you take badges away from somewhere, you've given up something, which if you go look inside the regular NBA, those players don't have some of these badges and they don't give up anything. They don't have some of the dribbling badges, some of the shooting badges, some of the defensive badges, and they're still able to be effective, which are my player is not. And this is a problem with that we actually end up with. Um, I want to thank y'all for coming to this. I state this is the first part of the four part series we'll be creating. And with that, back with another green baby. Let's leave y'all with a little gameplay on my two way inside out at the point guard. Kind of toxic. We out here running a uh, two way inside out, two way sharp with a post score. You can follow me on Mixer, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube at NL Coach, uh, Facebook, NL Coach Gaming, and uh, Twitter at uh, Grindhouse16. I normally stream every day, 4 p.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Pacific. Uh, catch me on the stream, man. Thank y'all. Come back again.